Okay, Rage Cat's up here. Let's have a look around. Can't click that door. Oh, that one just vanishes. Well, that's handy. Oh, and... Oh, cool. Well, this is neat. It's like a big glass floor. Powered by little, by uh, moderately small crystals. Cool. Ancient technology. All right, here we go. Zoning into something I've never seen before. Rue on Gardens. The Great Bane will devour the fair land of Vanadiel. The ancient seal will be broken, awaking nightmares of ages past. The blood of innocence will soak the earth, and the world will fall into fear and despair. Wow. Magnificent. Fear? Despair? There won't be any blood soaking the earth if I have anything to say about it. I don't know who these crystal warriors are, but I'm not going to let them have their way with my vanity L. I'll show them what this incomplete Hume is made of. The song of legend sings of our demise, then so be it. But when the song is over, we shall write a new verse of hope with our blood, sweat, and toil. Come on, Zade, we have no time to lose. Be careful, Mr. Pierso. I have a feeling we'll be seeing each other again soon. Yeah, let's just all split up. Cool. Wow. This is so neat. Like, I love, I just love how beautiful this looks. I mean, I love, like, like you can see the moss covering the, you know, ancient structures. What does it look like here? You can see the clouds beneath. I mean, obviously we're up in the sky, but wow. This is just, wow. I don't know what to say. It looks like there's more teleportation pads. And I see a Bastok flag. So, Bastok clearly controls the region up here for crystals. No gate guard, though. And we've got a survival guide. My gosh, I am just taking this in right now. There's Rage Cat. Wow. Feels like a real, like, 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 imagine being in this situation and being in this place that's, like, several thousand years old and you're just, like, this mere mortal who's, like, almost not worthy to be in a place like this and yet here we are. Wow. Okay, well, let's, uh, I've never been here before, so let's do a little exploring. Use the portal. What's well, the worst that could happen? Oh, I do see some mobs in the 70s. Hmm. Pots are aggressive, but obviously they're going to aggro by magic. So don't cast a single cure spell. My gosh, this is just gorgeous. The birds... Windower isn't really telling me if they aggro, but... I'll go out on a limb and say they don't. I've never heard of anybody being attacked by a flamingo. I'm sure if I uh, did some searching on YouTube, it would be on there somewhere. That's a thing, let me know. And then we got a circle here. And if we look at our missions, it looks like we're on the Archangels. Apathy, Arrogance, Cowardice, Envy, Rage, the darkness that lurks within us all. So looking at the guide here for this next part, I'm just going to skip ahead. I'm still back on the Mithra and the Crystal mission here. All this other stuff is pretty straightforward. So it's looking like we're going to have to start fighting the uh, Warriors of the Crystal. 
Now, there's an option to fight all of them at once, which I don't feel we're really a high enough level for that. Um, at least, I'm assuming so. So I think we're going to go ahead and fight them one at a time. There's a groundskeeper over here. Level 75 to 78. Also aggros by magic. Hmm. And these beasts up here, or dolls, or, wow, look at the map. They've, uh, oh, there's home point crystals. Five little islands. I imagine those are the places that we, that we go to to fight these angels. So we've probably got to defeat all five of them, the warriors of the crystal or archangels or whatever the hell they're called, to uh, advance further. Okay, let's, uh... Use the portal. Sure. This one looks red and a little scary, but what the hell? Oh, okay. So we're at one of the points here. Field manual. And a home point crystal. Excellent. Always happy to get a new home point crystal. So looking at the guide, it looks like these, taking these folks on one at a time, it looks like they're all level 75. All right, so it looks like we're coming up to a battlefield here. Archangel number five. And let's get Rage in there too. Oh, interesting, different music. Never heard this music yet. You shall be burned by the rage that controls you. Okay, so we're fighting the Galka first. He appears to be a samurai. Now the guide says that they have two jobs and that they'll use two hour abilities from both jobs. Now, I don't want to steamroll the fight. As I've said many times in this series, I like to try to keep things somewhat challenging. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes I fail. Uh, it's always hard to tell, especially when you haven't done these fights before. Um, so I think what we're going to do, we're definitely going to want a healer at least, because like, Paladin Majesty Curing is fantastic, but a lot of times when you're fighting a boss in this game, you get some pretty serious debuffs. I don't want to assume this guy would be an exception to that. And if you get debuffed, paralyzed, silence, all that crap, you're or cursed or anything like that, your ability to be a dedicated healer as a paladin is not going to work out well for you. So we're going to do Kupipi, and I think we'll do Koromoro, and I think we'll leave it at that and just see how we do. We've got four more of these guys to fight after this. Looks like my sound might be a little goofed up. Yeah, it looks like I've lost my sound effects. That does happen on this game. I'll let Kupipi take care of Shell. Let's go ahead and eat some food. I don't have anything super good on Rage Cat. I'll have to go out and actually shop for some actual food. All right, let's run in and see how this goes. We've got 27 minutes, so we got lots of time. So he definitely looks like a samurai. I think his other job is Dragoon, which means he might summon a Wyvern as well. Oh gosh, Rage Cat, please don't get stuck. Okay, jump in, start with a flash. Oh yeah, he just did a jump ability. Oh gosh, and we're all bound. So I'm gonna throw up here immediately. There we go, and let's get Rage in the fight. I don't know if taking out that Wyvern, like he might just resummon it, I'm not sure. And Rage Cat is bound. So out of frustration, we'll just throw a boost Chi Blast. Okay, let's throw up Sentinel. I'm also gonna throw up Defender as well. Just not gonna take any chances here. All right, there we go. We got Rage Cat closer now. All right. So we can expect a Samurai two hour ability and we can also expect a uh, Dragoon to our ability as well. I know the Samurai to our ability I think is like weapon skill hell. Just be like constant weapon skills. 
And then Dragoon, I think, is drawing power from your Wyvern or something. I honestly haven't played Dragoon too much. Okay, I think he's using it now. So... Try to get off another cure here. Shit. Damn it. Kupipi and Koromoro, I am glad you are here. I don't really want a chance at attacking the Wyvern, so I think we'll just keep focusing on the big guy here. Okay, and Dragon Kick. There we go. Doing alright. Perfect. Kapipi and Koromoro are doing good for MP. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and throw up Fealty as well, just in case we get hit with some pretty bad debuffs there. Looks like the only debuff I have right now is Blind. I can live with that. I'll just blind him, too. Just be a right dick about it. Okay. Make sure Majesty's back up. Oh! Is he... Did he just use the same one-hour ability again? Well, that's a load of bullshit. Way to hack the game. Okay, throw up Cure. Also gonna throw up Mantra. I keep forgetting Rage Cat even has that ability. Give us a little max HP boost. Let's go for another skill chain here. Alright, this might be a photo finish here. Oh, not quite. Well, I'm just gonna... Oh, I'm trying to blind him. Damn it, I can't even get a flash off when he's using that. And I'm silenced. Okay, it looks like Rampart's about to cool down. We've almost got this guy done, though, so I think we're okay. I'm still silenced, so no holy KO. Still mad, bruh? Oh! Um. Well, that's a way to go. Okay. I like that setup, having Kupipi and Koromoro. It's still, um... Oh, Kupipi managed to get off a of Cure 4. That's cool. Yeah, I, I definitely like that setup. It's still, um... Like, like we're well covered for heals and such. But it's not to the point where we're literally just steamrolling the fight. Like, we actually have to work a little bit to... To get through it. Alright, well, we got the Shard of Rage. I guess this makes you the new, uh... The new Rage Archangel... There, Rage Cat. Rage is still bound. <laughs> what the fuck do we get out of here? Do we just gotta go back to the uh, circle again? That seems like the only option. Shimmering Circle. Use the portal. Yes. Okay, that worked. We're back outside. Did it send us to a super inconvenient location? Oh, sent us right back to where we were. Cool. Alrighty, let's uh, move on to the next one. And while we go to find the next one, we can enjoy exploring this beautiful ancient place. Well, there we go. It's kind of nice that it doesn't send you to the uh, downloading data screen like some of the other zones do. Okay. So the next one, let's head west this way and see if we can find a portal. So far, other than the magic aggro enemies here, I haven't really seen anything that's a direct threat to us. Not unless we 
make a stupid mistake. Out of all the things they could have called these guys, they called them sprinklers. <laughs> Do they just float around and water the plants? Their name suggests that's what they do. Wow. My gosh, can you imagine if this game was, like, playable in VR? Like, I know the graphics are super dated, but that would be beautiful. Well, I see a door over here. Oh, that just disappears. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going this way. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. A little okay. I mean, definitely don't jump down there, but... Uh, oh, look at that waterfall. There's just water just... <laughs> Is that where rain comes from in Vanadiel? Just falling right down into the clouds. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, another... No, nope, can't click that. Another door here. That one doesn't look like it disappears, so that's a no-go. Okay, let's head up the steps here. See if we can find that next portal. Hmm. This looks like it would have been a portal, but it's not active. Maybe it was its use was discontinued or it was never finished. Who knows? I'd ask that old Narch guy, but he's kind of a prick. So that ain't happening. And Fealty with its brutal cooldown should be cooled down before we get to the next fight. Teleportation! Fuck yeah! Don't mind me. Okay, we're now in the southwest. So this will be the second fight, and we've got a new home point. Alright, let's see who we're fighting next. Archangel number two. You shall be consumed by the cowardice that binds you. Okay, so we're fighting the Taru Taru this time. The little witch Taru. So, Scythe. So I'm assuming Dark Knight and Black Mage. Let's take a look at the uh, guide here. Yeah, Taru Taru. Black Mage plus Dark, wielding a Scythe. Uses Mana Font and Blood Weapon. Okay can cause paralysis, petrification with a unique weapon skill called Aim and Drive. Warps around the circular area of the battlefield, except during Blood Weapon. Okay, that's kind of a pain in the ass. And our food effect is still up, thankfully. Okay, so same arena. Perfect. Okay, let's... I'm actually just going to cast Reprisal right now so I don't forget. Only lasts for 60 seconds. Alright. He's jumping right in with Poison Gatu. Okay. Throw up a cure. Or try to. Oh gosh, we're petrified. Oh shit. You friggin' asshole. Oh no, this sucks. Ha, <laughs> joke's on you. I don't have any TP to absorb. Welp. Oh, don't take my MP. You little dick. Can't do a proper fight with us, eh? Oh, gosh. Okay. Petrification's almost worn off. Come on. Oh, come on. Cure 4. 
Are we petrified again? What the hell? How are we supposed to fight this little asshole? Can't even do anything. What the fuck? 